Mo3 has a lot of unreleased music. Yeah, a lot. I got a lot of unreleased music. Got a, they got about three albums coming out in 2022. Three albums. Yeah. Damn, that's a lot. That's dope. That's good, man. What's his new music or the music you're planning on putting out? What's like the vibe of it? What's it sound like? What's he What's he talking about? Like he's here. Like he's here. Okay. He talking about everything going on right now. Okay. Does he rap about death or? Yeah. A lot of them songs he rap about what happened when after they die. Okay. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> you gotta stay tuned, man. He was talented, man. He, he rapped about a lot of. <laughs> you gotta stay tuned, man. But yeah, he was a. Uh, he was a cold, He was like a prophet. Talented, definitely, man. Mm -hmm. You know, man, uh, it's just a sad situation all around, man. Uh, you know, I hate when I see a rapper die, man. You know, it's just like, uh, you know, so much talent. I just wish the best for him, his family. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, everybody around him, yeah. you know. Rest in peace, Mo3, man. Just our rapper, Slim, Slim, what's his name? Slim 400. So, Slim 400 and Draco. Yeah, Draco. Rest in peace. Uh, uh Young Dolph, recently Dolph. also. That was a good man. How important it is our contracts in the music business? It is, but it's not. Me and Mo3 never had a contract. Mm. And I got more when he was alive by not having a contract because we split it so much and it wasn't a certain amount of number to give me. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, uh, right now, I might make, I might make, I might make them 10 million, but I only get 20%. But he was alive, he'd be sitting there saying, man, right, we got 10 million, Mo3 was a humble guy. He said, I got 10 million, right, go folks, we go to three, you know what I'm saying, four, five million, you know what I'm saying, we, you know, a lot of stuff, we split it. So now I'm stuck with 20% for all the work I do. So, uh, I mean, it's, it's good things and cons, but I was blessed to be around, my first time around with a, a real individual, you know what I'm saying, so. You know, I don't trust nobody else after Mo3. So I got I, I do contracts. I think God blessed me my first time around with a real individual. So, you know. Yeah, man, It you know, w without a contract, it's like, the, you know, they can just pretty much screw you over. Or, yeah. You know, in, in your guys' situation, though, you know, you guys actually had a bond. You guys mm -hmm. were friends, man, and... It seemed like he was more like, yo, like, we going to do this for yeah. a long time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like if I'm getting a lot of money with somebody, you know what I'm saying? Even if I'm, like, the star, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to, like, let me let me make sure, you know what I'm saying? Like, they happy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, yeah. if I give them extra, bigger percentage. Yeah. You know, I, that's definitely good business right there. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, but I can't speak on everybody. But I never work with an artist without a contract. Mm-hmm. Cause when he died, people didn't understand the relationship that we had, you know. So you know. Yeah, I can see that. People, I can see that it can be kind of rough. When they die, and you ain't got no contract, people only try to. A average person only worry about when, when a person die, the average person close to you. Worry about how much money you die with. That's the first thought people got. That's the first thought come to people's head that when somebody died with money. What did he leave me? And right. so it leaves me it, it left me out like and I think three would sit there and say, No only reason that I got this is because of rain. And if I die and still to this day, I take up for him because the only reason I got this is because of Mo three. You know what I'm saying? So you guys were a team, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we still a team. I don't let nobody. I don't let nobody disrespect him. You know, I'm outside every day. I ain't doing no interviews and no calls. <laughs> I'm outside every day, man. You gotta watch these cloud chasers, man. These cloud chasers just be just be looking for views because they never had views. <laughs> so, you know, you know what I'm saying. The worst thing they could have did is let them Mo3 die at down there, because Mo3 got the last word. And they will always get, they will always be compared to Mo3. And that's somebody you don't want to get compared with because Mo3 can never foul off right now. He can't never make a bad song. He can't never do none of that right now. He ended on top. 
So now, everything y'all put out, you know, they will go purr. Yeah, man. And man. I'm going to explain tomorrow. Yellow stole Mo3 song. Yellow Busy stole song, which one? It's called Freeze. He premiered it today. Man, he tried to steal Mo3 song, man. You know that shit ain't your song, <laughs> look. But it gave me ammunition because now I'm going to release Mo3 version of the song that, you know, they done heard. You know, you know what I'm saying? They done heard Mo3. Mo3 played on, his, on, on the live before. And, you know, he come out and try to switch up his words. Like, and try to switch up his words. Man, it came out from Mo3. You know, it's a trend in Dallas right now. If you ain't sounding like Mo3 or coming with some pain shit, then nobody listen to your shit. And, you know, uh, I will be speaking on this sometime this week. Uh, he uh, he just tried to take Mo3 songs, you know. Is this the first time something like this has happened? Yeah. No, it's not the first time he done done it, but it's the first time it happened Mo3. I think it was another occasion when he done some stuff like that. But, uh... Oh, no, nah, we ain't gonna let this lie. <laughs> These niggas, they taking girls, they taking girls, uh, they taking girls' pussies and songs, and that shit ain't finna go. <laughs> nah, nah, no me, no, you ain't finna take this, you know what I'm saying? Nah, you ain't finna go like that. How old is this song? Three, three recorded three years ago. He never made the album. They never made the album. Nah. That's pretty crazy. I forgot song. about it till today. And I seen the clip. I was like, oh, oh, you slick bitch. <laughs> you slick bitch. <laughs> you, you thought we forgot about that song. Or I think he thought that it was put up where we couldn't get to that song. Nah, hell nah. You, you just try to you switch my three words up into your own words. You know. How did he get the song? Uh, Money Maya. You know, Money Maya got a lot of songs. They probably riding around listening to it, you know. Money Maya, Money Maya. Money Maya is like this mystery woman <laughs> that, that we all hear about, but I, at least not that I know, that we've never seen or really ever heard from her or anything. You know what? That's a snake bitch. <laughs> oh, boy. That's a snake bitch. She'll bite you. You know what I'm saying? Are you planning on suing? Nah. Over any of this? Nah, 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 nah. You just gonna just let it let it play. I mean, because it's gonna be kind of controversial. Cause it's gonna wash him under. Because it's not the exact same songs, but it's the same concept and the same style and the same wordplay that you that that you heard from Mo Three. So, uh, you just helped me promote Mo Three song. Now I'm gonna go all out and put a big artist on there, and you know, it's go. I think it's gonna be bigger than uh, outside. Oh wow! Okay, that's huge. I mean, a song, you know, with that kind of controversy, because everybody's going to hear it from him, you know, then they're going to hear the Mo3 version, you know what I'm saying? It's going gonna, it's gonna to make a lot of people talk, so that would definitely be Yeah, yeah, you got to understand, understand this. Uh, um, Like, when 3 left out the last song outside, you know, uh, you know, he talked about God, and, you know, I think he made his, his uh, I think he got right with God, and God give me a second chance, like he said on outside, knowing I'd be doing the devil dance, you know what I'm saying, you know. But he said he was wrong. What he was saying the outside, he was wrong for what he done, but you know, or what he was doing, but you know, he was asking for forgiveness. So the whole Mo three name is covered by the blood of Jesus and the blood of God or whatever you that you look up to. So when you going against that, you know, everything go come to the light and unfold. And that man, you know, uh, the worst thing they could have did was, was let him O3 die. Because now, Mo3 Finn is on top. So whatever they do and whatever they got going on in life, they will always compare them to Mo3. I don't care if they get 60 years old in a retirement home. Them people go look at him and say, you was good, but you wasn't better than that boy Mo3. You know what I'm saying? The legacy of Mo3 will, will definitely... If Biggie was still alive right now, I don't care what Biggie did. They will compare him to Tupac. Yeah. Right or wrong? Oh, yeah. If Biggie would have lived 50 years, they would compare him to Tupac. The worst thing you can do is kill your op rapper. Mm. You better out rap him. You better do him like T.I. did Flip. 
<laughs> if, you know what I'm saying? If Flip would have died, they would people would have been sent to Flip of Ti. You was good, but that boy Flip was on your ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, I, I see what you're saying. It's like uh, if Flip would have died, Flip would have been permanently part of Ti's story. But now that you know both of them have lived on, it's kind of like flip out groom. Not, not as not as biggest yeah. part of of it. Got him. Everywhere he go, he go he'll play in his head a hundred shots. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, straight up. Well, Rainwater, man, this was a dope interview. Oh yeah. Man, I super appreciate you, man. Yeah. Rest in peace, small three, man. Yeah. You know, uh, condolences. To his family, oh, yeah. his friends, you know, everybody. You know, I definitely, uh, you know, loved his music. You know, and I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing more music. You know, Gangsta Love yeah. too. Y'all better be ready. Definitely. All right. All right, bro.